What's up everybody, it's your boy Medium Hair. My hair looks a little silly right now. Uh, last night, after I recorded that in GPT video, um, I got into keyboards again. Um, I'm really into building, I, I actually haven't built any keyboards, so I'm lying a little bit here, but I'm really into the idea of building custom keyboards. And, um, you know, I was looking into like, oh, what like budget keyboards are there right now? Like what's, you know, what's the scene look like? Cause I haven't, um, I haven't really looked at, I haven't really been involved in keyboards for a while. And, uh, you know, I found this keyboard from Keychron, which, you know, back when I was into keyboards, Keychron was still very good, but check this out. It's the Keychron Q3. Um, it's, it's, uh, after shipping, it's something like $204, which sounds like a lot of money, but I have a Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 on my desk right now, and it's, um, way lower quality, and it's, it was also like 200 something dollars. Uh, so this is actually a pretty good deal. Um, it's made out of aluminum, it's gasket mounted. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means it has a very good typing experience. Um, you can get it with red switches. It's actually out of stock in red switches right now, but it seems like a very nice keyboard. And uh, you know, if this keyboard breaks before Christmas, <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna buy this. Uh, and if it breaks, um, if it doesn't break until Christmas, which it hasn't broken for like five years, but if it doesn't break until Christmas, um, I'm gonna ask for this keyboard for Christmas. Um, you know, they also have, they also just released like these super cheap keyboards they have. They have this new line of keyboards called the V series. Um, and you'll notice $84 after shipping, that's like $104, very cheap. Very, very, very cheap. If you go for the bare bones version, it's only $64. That's only $94 after shipping. Just really incredible. And I've heard very good things about this keyboard in general. Um, you know, I don't really like the plastic body. Um, I would much per prefer something made out of metal. Uh, but um, if you're looking for like a really, really nice keyboard just to have um, and just to use and like experience, um, I've heard very good things about this keyboard uh, just on YouTube and stuff. Also, um, what? That's crazy. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm going for TKL, for those of you who don't know what that means, a 10 key list, also known as 80%, it means you get 80% of the keys, uh, which is basically all of them except for the numpad. Uh, the reason why I'm going for TKL is because I don't need a numpad. I don't think I've ever... <laughs> I think if you were to count up all the times I've pressed each key on my keyboard, I've maybe pressed every numpad button combined maybe maybe 300 times, you know? <laughs> um, I, I don't use the keypad much. Uh, at all, and so I don't. I don't really need one. Um, you'll notice there are some people who really like, like, yeah, like there are some people who like using like sixty percent layouts, and uh, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely get the vibe, but not my thing. Way too tiny, kind of silly. You got to use layers for the F row. You don't have any arrow keys. You don't have any. Um, you don't have the navigation cluster. How are you going to play Space Engineers, right? Um, just really strange to me, um, you know, but I'm not going to yuck someone's young, right? Um, yeah, if you want to go for something a little less silly, you can do for something like 75%. Um, That's a split keyboard. Sorry, uh, that is not a good example. You could do something like a like a 75% keyboard, which is like, mm, like 95% of a TKL. Uh, this is a TKL, and this is a... Uh, uh, 75%. 75% is pretty interesting. You still have the navigation keys and you have some of the navigation cluster, but, um, you know, you kind of got to cut off shift. You got to cut off control. Not necessarily my thing. Um, actually, don't quote me on cutting off shift and control. That might be a thing just from Keychron. Maybe that's not the case with a lot of 75% layouts, but yeah, they also have some really cool looking uh, low profile keyboards. Like, um, yeah, like I was looking at this one, you know, and, uh, this actually looks really incredible. I really like the idea of low profile keyboards. Uh, just look at how thin that is. Um, back when I was in elementary school, in our classroom, we had a couple Macs, like some iMacs. I don't know how, we weren't that rich. Um, but we had some iMacs and there are those very low profile Apple keyboards. And I remember really enjoying those. And I had one of those up until recently, probably up until a year ago. And I, you know, I always like enjoyed using it. And I feel like, you know, something a little taller than that with a little more key travel. Um, I really like the idea of it, and I, re I really like the concept of low-profile uh, keyboards, frankly. Uh, I just think it looks really pretty. Um, 
and you could just hot swap the the switches. Got RGB lay. Yeah, really nice keyboard. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm probably not gonna go for low profile though because that seems like a lot of very proprietary stuff and I don't wanna be stuck in the Keychron ecosystem, you could say. Um, for breakfast, I had a banana. For lunch, I had cereal at like two. Uh, and I, you know, I practiced a little bit today. Um, we have a big jazz uh, competition coming up on a Thursday. Not this Thursday, next Thursday. And um, I've got to be good for it. There's just a couple measures and a couple songs that I worked on today. Um, I was practicing today and it kind of got cut short because I got, I got really angry. <laughs> um, I have some very, very minor uh, anger issues, which really sucks, but um, it's typically just me not drinking enough water or not eating enough food. And that's actually why I ended up eating that cereal. I'd only eaten a banana all day and I was practicing and I was really mad and I just needed to eat food. <laughs> um, I'm having a great day now. I'm just doing my thing, you know. Uh, I gotta go to bed pretty early tonight. Oh, for dinner we're having baked potatoes. I gotta go to bed pretty early tonight because tomorrow they have me scheduled for 9.15 in the morning, which is crazy because we open at 10.30. What am I gonna do for an hour? I don't know. Um, I guess they're gonna be trading me on like opening, opening, uh, which I've, I've never done before, so I'm pretty excited for it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, you know, aside from that, I'm just hanging out. Um, Think about keyboards, um, which is always fun. Uh, one peripheral I do love is my G seven oh my Logitech G seven oh three Lightspeed. Great mouse. Um, I have the RGB off, but it has RGB on the logo and on the scroll wheel. Just a really nice mouse. Uh, it's crazy how good wireless mouses mice have gotten. I remembered like wireless mouse mice were kind of a meme, uh, and it was like, of course you'd go wired, but like it's crazy that you could just have a wireless mouse and it's like really, really, really good. Uh, shout out to Logitech. I've also heard very good things about some Razer mice. I've heard some very good things about um, Final Mouse. Um, but the G703 Lightspeed is the one I use, and one of my favorite things about it is just how big these side buttons are. Look at how big they are! Like, those are massive. Like, normally if you have side buttons on a, on a mouse, you just have, like, these dainty little, tiny little buttons, but these are huge. Um, so, yeah. That's perfect. Like, I also like ATH M50Xs. Go on any podcast. 60% chance of wearing these, for real. Very nice headphones. Um, I got some, some leather ear cups off Amazon. They aren't leather, look at how they're peeling. That's grody. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are very nice headphones. I also recommend ATH M50Xs. They're a little expensive, but honestly, they're super worth it. Um, and I have no other peripherals I recommend. I suppose I recommend 16 by 10 displays. Uh, I like that aspect ratio. Um, yeah. All right, see you, dude.